Hi Paul, my name is Cammie. I own a local marketing company here in Appleton and I, the purpose of this video is just to show you some online tips and tricks on how to better market your business and so you can get more people coming to your greenhouses. I actually have a degree in horticulture so doing stuff for nurseries, greenhouses, tree services, I just love it. But anyways, so coming here, your Facebook page. Um, it's awesome that you have a Facebook page. It's super cute. I love seeing the little kiddos. I have three little kids myself. Um, it looks great. You guys seem like you're pretty consistent on there. Um, always being more consistent does help. Facebook likes to see at least a post a week to help show up more on people's feeds. With Facebook, any of your followers that do follow you, with Google's algorithm, only one out of 20 of those will actually see any posts you post. So making sure that you're posting more frequently has a better, has a better reach out to the people who are following you. Um, besides Facebook, so if you come right here, this, so I just Googled Nursery Appleton. And so this first thing that pops up is the Google map listing. And if we come on in here, so it has all these places listed and there is actually a rhyme or reason on how Google does this. So if we come on down here, here we go, Badger Boys Greenhouses. So Google will look at your address, name, phone number, and that is considered a citation. And so a citation is anywhere where the name, address, phone number, and website show up just how it does on Google. And when that is listed in more places, Google looks at that and says, hey, these guys are more credible. We can list them up higher in our Google Map app, help them get more people in their doors. Um, and so you can go and get these at like Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau, Yelp, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Those are all great places to have your site and have an account with them. And it actually drives your site up on Google. So that is one way. Another way is when you upload images to your Google business profile, you want to name them keywords that people would be searching. So nursery Appleton, greenhouses, plants. And when Google goes through and reads it, they don't look at pictures, they read the backs of pictures. And so if they see those, they'll rank you for those keywords that you're searching for. You also want to make sure your Google business profile is completely filled out. So there is a services section that you can list everything that you guys do along, along with you know, it looks at reviews and it really looks at everything. A lot of it does look at a website. And so if you don't have a website that would play into stuff, um, I am going to show you one of your competitors websites real quick. So this is your number one competitor. This is Van Zeeland. Um, and I can go back in and I can look at all the nitty gritties of their website. And so Google looks at their trust and strength with Google and that's how they rank them. So you can see they have 135 keywords. So they're going to be getting a lot more traffic coming to them because they're ranking for more keywords. When people search, Google is going to rank them a lot higher than just a Google business profile or just a Facebook page. And so just something to look at. A website would be a great idea to look into if you guys are looking to grow or if you guys are needing more people coming in your doors. A website is basically your online business, right? So if people haven't seen you before, they'll go to your website to know if they want to come to you. Anyways, I hope a couple of these tips and tricks work out for you. I'll be following up just to see what you thought of the video to get your insights, but thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.